soon as everybody's ready, we'll go ahead and get started. Can I help you? Did you know you would look fantastic on the widescreen? Uh-huh. Se 70 millimeters. Look, do you want to see a menu or what? Let's negotiate. What's your soup du jour today? Soup of the day? You got your choice of Polish duck letter or cream of kidney. Beautiful, beautiful. Kick me in a kidney. You got it. Any oyster crackers on your seabed? Nope. All out. Fabulous. Tap raise the pearl? You are a temptress. And pickled pig's feet. Pig's feet, I love it. Put me down for a quadruple. You say it, though. Any sprouts to go on those feet? Iceberg. Al. Hey, Marcus, what's up? <laughs> What's going on, buddy? Oh, man. <laughs> What's going on? I don't get it, Al. I don't understand it. Have you ever had one of those days? Maybe. Have you ever gotten the feeling you can't get anything you ask for? I know I have. Or have you been stuck on a cosmic beach? I just got burned. Is there something real to these feelings? We will find out Good plan. as we explore The, the Philadelphia, Philadelphia by David uh, Ives, which takes place in your common diner. Where we follow our heroes, Mark and Al, accompanied by a waitress. Can, Can I, I help, help you? you? In their discussion <laughs> of life's problem. What's going on, buddy? I don't get it, Al. I don't understand it. Like... Right from the moment I got up. What's, what's the story? Well, well, just for an example, this morning I went to the drugstore to pick up a bottle of acid. This was a big drugstore, right? Yeah. So I walk up to the counter, the guy says, what can I get for you, sir? I say, give me a bottle of aspirin. The guy gives me this funny look and says, oh, but we don't have that, sir. I think to him, you're a drugstore, and you don't have any aspirin? Do they have bufferin? Yeah. Advil? Yeah. High strike Tylenol? Yep. But no aspirin. Oh, oh no. Wow. <laughs> and I think a weird thing that's been happening to me all day long. Or this, I go to the newsstand to pick up the daily news, the guy's never even heard of it. Could have been a misunderstanding. <laughs> no, I checked every place. Nobody had the news. I had to read the Toronto hairdresser instead. Or this, I go to a deli at lunchtime to pick up a sandwich. The guy tells me he doesn't have any pastrami. How can you be a deli if you don't have pastrami? Was it a <laughs> Korean deli? <laughs> <laughs> no, this was a kosher from Jerusalem deli. Oh, I'm sorry, we don't have that, sir. Have some tongue. <laughs> I just hopped into a cab, and the guy says he doesn't go to 56th Street. He offers to take me to Newark instead. Wow. Looking at me like I'm an alien or something! Settle down, Marcus. Settle down. Oh, we don't go there, sir. Settle down. Take a breath. <laughs> Do you know what this is? Sure. What? What's been happening to me? You're in a Philadelphia. That's all. In what? A Philadelphia. But I'm in... Yes, physically. You're in New York. But metaphysically, you're in a Philadelphia. <laughs> <laughs> I never, never heard of this. Inside of what we know as reality, there are these pockets, these black holes, called Philadelphias. Fall into one of them, and you'll run into exactly what's been happening to you all day. Because in a Philadelphia, you can't get anything you want. You want something, they're not going to have it. You want to go somewhere, you can't get there from here. You want to do something, it ain't going to get done. Just consider, Marcus, it's named after the town that invented the cheesesteak. Something no one in their right mind would willingly ask for. <laughs> I was just having a really bad day. Sure. Millions of people have spent entire lifetimes inside of Philadelphia and never even knew it. Just look at the city of Philadelphia itself. Hopelessly <laughs> trapped inside its own Philadelphia. And do they know it? So what can I do? Should I just kill myself now and get it over with? <laughs> Try to kill yourself in a Philadelphia? You're only gonna get hurt, babe. <laughs> So what can I do? Just wait it out. Someday the great cosmic train will whisk you out of the city of brotherly love and off to some place happier. You're pretty mellow today. Yeah, well, everybody has to be someplace. Is your name Alan Chase? It is indeed. There was a phone call for you, boss. Okay. It says you're fired. Yeah, but what happened to my pig speed? Al, you loved your job! Hey, no sweat. How can you be so calm? You're in a Philadelphia. I woke up into Los Angeles and life is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Susie packed up and left me this morning. Susie left me? And I say go. And God bless. And may your dating pool be Olympic size. <laughs> <laughs> but, but your job, the garment district was your life. I'll just turn it into a movie script. Sell it to Paramount. Add in a little emotional blah, blah, blah. And you've got a buddy movie with a garment background. <laughs> Not relevant enough? 
Add in the hole in the ozone. Make it E C. E C. Environmentally correct. <laughs> Marcus, have you heard of this hole in the ozone? Well, sure. I love this concept. I embrace the ozone. Sure, some people are going to get hurt, but in the meantime, the rest of us will tan a little bit fast. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Los Angeles. Well, everybody has to be someplace. Wow. Take my advice. Enjoy your Philadelphia. Sit back, order yourself a button of burger, and chill out for a while. But I can't order anything. Life is great for you out there on your cosmic beach. But whatever I ask for, I'll get a cheesesteak or something. No. There's a very simple rule of thumb for getting what you want in a Philadelphia. What? Ask for the opposite. What? In a Philadelphia, if you ask for the opposite, you'll get exactly what you want. You want the daily news? Ask for the times. You want pastrami? Ask for tongue. Uh, oh. So do you want a bud? I, I sure can do no. that. Do you want a bud? No! I do not want a bud! <laughs> now there's the waitress. Order yourself a bud and a burger, but do not ask for a bud and a burger. Waitress! No, don't call her. She won't come. <laughs> Remember, you're in a Philadelphia. Think, you don't need that waitress. <laughs> hey, waitress! <laughs> Can I help you with something? That's how you get service in Philadelphia. Uh, no thanks. What do we have? Uh, well, how about some OJ? Squeezer's broken. Glass of milk? Cow's dry. Eggnog just ran out. How about a cup of coffee? Oh, we don't have that, sir. Got any ale? Nope. Stout? Nope. Porter? Just beer. That's too bad. How about a Heineken? Heineken, try again. Roll the rock? Out of stock. Split. Next. Back. Next. Sephora. Tomorrow. Lone Star? Hardy Har. Bud Light! Just plain Bud's all we got. No thanks. One Bud! <laughs> Pork chop. Hamburger. Medium. Well done. Baked potato. With a slide of fries. And some zucchini. Slice of raw. Burn one! <laughs> Marcus, that was excellent. Thanks. Excellent. You're sure you've never done this before? I've spent so much of my life asking for the wrong thing without knowing it, that doing it on purpose? Well, it comes easy. <laughs> I mean, I could have saved myself so much trouble all these years if I'd screwed up on purpose. <laughs> Maybe I was in Philadelphia all along and never even knew it. You could have been in a Baltimore. They're basically the same. <laughs> <laughs> I have one butt and one cheesesteak. Excuse me? It's a cheesesteak. I ordered cream of kidney and pig's feet. We don't have that, sir. Beg your pardon? We don't have that, sir. I'm in your Philadelphia! I didn't know it was contagious! <laughs> <laughs> in a Philadelphia? No, but but you know the opposite? I mean, since you're Don't in a tell me about life in a Philadelphia! But you're not really in a Philadelphia! I tell you everything you know about Philadelphia! Don't you tell me about a Philadelphia! <laughs> you're not really in a Philadelphia! Do you see the cheese on that steak? <laughs> what more evidence do I need? The Liberty Bell? <laughs> Waitress, do you have some water? Water? We don't have that, sir. Of course you don't! What, you think we're in a sudden drought or something? I just lost my job. Susie just left me. I need to make some calls. Where's your payphone? Payphone? We don't have that. Sir. Of course you don't. Of course you don't. Get me out of here. I don't know. Life's not that bad in Philadelphia. Could be worse. I've been in a Cleveland all week. <laughs> <laughs> What's that like? It's like death without the advantages. <laughs> Care to stand? Don't mind if I do. I hope you won't reveal your name. Sharon. Goodbye. Hello. Care to starve? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Everybody has to be someplace. So. <laughs>